Remember in this video series, we are following this kit here, which you can buy from modmypie.com. So head over to their website. The full link to buy this is in the description of this video. So this is the first video where we're actually going to introduce electronics into our Python learning. So lesson two is how to turn LEDs on and LEDs off. And we're gonna start with how to turn LEDs on. So I've included in the description of this um, video a link to a download pack that contains all of these electronic circuits. And here's the first one we have, which is how to wire up two different um, LEDs, a red and a blue LED. So what you can see here on the diagram is we have uh, represented our breadboard. We have um, a power uh, cable that plugs in from the Pi to uh, the, um, the red line here. We have the black line, which is the negative line, um, or the ground. And we have wires going from our pins to um, our LED. And then the LED, which links down to the ground, and in between there we have um, a resistor, which restricts the flow of current. Now, on the right-hand side here, we have the diagram, uh, which represents um, these pins that you will find on your Pi. So this one here is number one, and it goes one, two, three, four, all the way down to 26. So when you're counting these, you're going to want to identify which pins to put them into. So for example, if we're looking at which ones to plug the LEDs into, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So you would count one, two, three, four, five, six, and that would be classified as GPIO um, pin 17. GPIO stands for General um, Input Output Device and that's the devices that we actually turn on and off in the Python code so we can turn these onto a high signal which essentially turns the, um, the power on to this LED um, or we could turn it low which turns the power off. So that's the basic description of how the diagrams work. So lesson two, we're going to have a look at how do we import libraries which is an extension of what we've learned from the previous Python video. So we have, again, we have our declaration which classifies the Python um, interpreter that we're using. And then what we're going to do, and this is really important, is we're going to import the um, Raspberry Pi or the rpi.gpio module. So this is a library of code that gives us the functionality to actually um, utilize the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi and actually interact with the electronics. You can see at the bottom here, I've got a link to a bit more information for a bit more reading on this. So you have to declare this at the beginning, which allows us to use the, all the code that we see below here, which I'll explain bit by bit as we go through. So the first one, what this does is this sets up the numbering scheme. Now, it's a bit confusing because the board, as you can see up here, has um, all this numbering. Here we go, has all this numbering here. And you may have seen some diagrams that actually call the pins different numbers. Um, so, and there's two different types. We're going to stick mainly to the BCM, which is the Broadcom chip, which is the main brain of the Raspberry Pi. So Broadcom is basically where that comes from. The uh, line below here, what this does is it turns all of our channels back to um, inputs. So if you turn some on or off in previous um, scripts you've been running, this will actually reset them all to um, input. What this one here will do is it, there's a lot of messages that will be pumped out to the screen that are often not needed. They're good for de debugging, so you could turn this to change this to true whilst you're debugging, but we don't need it most of the time, and that stops a lot of messages going to the screen. So we're going to set the um, uh, channel to output, so you need to set everything that you're using to input or output. And pin 17, which we were looking at a moment ago, is set to output, I mean we're going to actually output a voltage. So I'm also going to do pin 26. So 27, which was the other pin that we've connected. And then we're going to print to the screen um, lights on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set um, GPIO pins 17 and 27 to high, which actually will um, output that voltage. And that will actually turn the LEDs on. So here's a pack of electronics. Um, what you'll notice, we have a bunch of different types of wires. Um, if you've never played with a breadboard before, what you'll see is the top um, horizontal line um, goes across the board like that, and that's the ground, and the red line is the voltage. Um, obviously, they're just bits of copper, so you can put whatever you want in them, but that's what they're generally designed for. In the middle, you have the um, vertical lines that go like that. They're not connected um, between the two big blocks, but all the small little connectors are connected together. So, let's grab our Raspberry Pi and start connecting our GPIO um, connectors on the device on the Pi to our breadboard for the first time. So we're going to put this in pin 1 
and then we're going to connect up pin 1 to the red voltage line which will um, activate that entire line horizontally across the breadboard um, giving it a 3.3 voltage. Now we want to grab our, um, our ground or, um, and we're going to connect that to I think it's pin uh, pin 6 I think it'll be on the diagram and we're going to connect that up to the blue um, ground line. So the LEDs have a, a longer pin um, on one side um, which is the positive leg and the short side is the negative leg and you have to make sure that these are um, put in the right way. So in the diagram um, we have the positive leg going to the positive line and the negative leg going to the negative rail um, and so for the way we've laid out this um, breadboard the long, uh, longer leg, the positive leg, goes on the right hand side uh, so just make sure you get that right when you wire it up otherwise um, they won't work. Okay so those two LEDs are plugged in. Okay so now we're going to take our resistor and we're going to plug the resistor in one side into our negative rail and on the other side we're going to plug it into the um, left leg which is our um, negative leg. It was a little bit fiddly, it took me a little bit of time to get it done there. And then we're just going to do the second leg. Okay, now that's all done. That's our first, um, pretty much our first connection done. All we have to do now is just connect up the, uh, the positive leg on both of those to our um, GPIOs, pins 17 and 27. And you notice that it's a, a male connector goes into the breadboard and it's a female connector that goes into the Raspberry Pi. So I'll spend a little bit more time on this video actually showing you how to plug things in um, because uh, obviously it's a bit fiddly the first time. So we're going to count down based on the diagram you should have in front of you. And we're going to plug our, our pins in. So that's pin 17 and that one next to it is pin 27. And there we go. That is our first electronics um, and Raspberry Pi GPO project set up and let's just have a quick look and see how the code's done. So the goal is to turn our LEDs on and then off. So you have to plug in the power supply which will send the signal to it and then either SSH or connecting with the keyboard and mouse. This is explained in the previous videos. So go to the directory that has all the code in which was explained in much more detail in um, video one, its previous video. And you'll see that there's two lots of code, two um, off PY and two on PY, which are the two Python codes, bits of code. Um, so let's very simply run the command sudo python two underscore on dot PY, and that will execute the code, and we'll see our LED lights turned on for all of our electronics and our codes correct. So here we have lesson two, which is how to turn the LEDs off. So now you should have two working um, LEDs turned on, and the code is very much the same, um, sets everything up. Um, but what you notice is that it is set again to output, so we're still outputting, but we're going to set the voltage to, or the setting to low, and what this does is it just turns the, um, the LEDs off, and that's it. Again, very simple, just type in sudo python2 underscore off to run the off code, and we'll see our LEDs turn off. Now I recommend if you're wanting to learn a bit more about Python, Code Academy is an interactive website that allows you to um, program online, this will hopefully be something that you can do alongside these videos to help in your Python learning and your coding experience. If you want to continue to follow, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel.